Hey, welcome to NEV Physics. I am Sunil Sa, and this video is about the concept and definition of electric flux. I have also used animations to make it very simple to understand. Now let's move to the content. Before you move into this topic, it's very important to have a good concept on electric field and electric lines of force. You can watch my previous video on this topic. I have shared the link in the description below. Now let's come to our topic electric flux. If you keep a positive charge inside a box, the electric lines of force comes out of the surface of box. And similarly, if you keep a negative charge inside a box, the electric lines of force passes into the box through the surface. It means that the electric lines of force can pass through almost all type of surface that is kept on its path. The electric flux is a scalar quantity and it is denoted by the letter phi. And phi is equal to the scalar product of electric field and area vector. So this can be written as phi is equal to E a cos theta. Now let's understand this more better with the help of this animation. Suppose this is a plane surface of area A. Now to show the direction of the area of the surface, we draw a line perpendicular to the surface. The red arrow line shows the direction of area of the surface. So you see that the plane surface is kept in such a way in the path of electric lines of force that the perpendicular drawn to the area makes an angle theta with the path of electric lines of force. So in this case, the electric flux through the plane surface is phi equals to Ea cos theta. Now let us consider a next case where the plane surface is kept perpendicular to the path of electric lines of force. In this case you see that the direction of the area of the surface that is the red arrow line and the direction of electric field are parallel. So in this case the angle theta is 0. And we saw that this happens when the plane surface is kept perpendicular to the path of electric lines of force. So when theta is 0, cos 0 is equal to 1. So we get the electric flux phi is equal to Ea. So now it's very clear that the electric flux through a plane surface which is not held perpendicular to the path of electric lines of force is E a cos theta and the electric flux through a plane surface which is held perpendicular to the path of electric lines of force is E a. Now let's define this electric flux. To get the definition of electric flux, Let's keep the area of the plane surface 1 meter square. If we keep the area of the plane surface 1 meter square, then we get electric flux phi is equal to electric field. So, electric flux is the number of electric lines of force crossing through unit area surface held perpendicular to the path of these lines. If you are finding the videos useful, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming videos.